peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. Let us now reflect on the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In this 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, let us capture the power of the Word of God. Beginning with the second reading, it says, the Word of God is living and effective. And so, when the person takes the Word of God, keeps it, live it in his life. One's life is transformed. One's life is blessed. One's life becomes godly. The first reading, the narrative is that a person prays for many things, riches, but then he was given instead prudence. He prayed for many other things and graces, but he was given wisdom. And then he learned that with prudence and wisdom, these are more vari valuable actually than riches and gold and silver. And precisely when the person was able to live life with wisdom and prudence and good principles, godly ways, many things come with it, came with it. Many things were given and added. When we come to the gospel, a kind of a contrast is being given. Here comes a young man asking the Lord, Lord, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? The Lord said, keep the commandments. Oh, I have already kept them. The Lord more uh, challenged him. And because he knew that this man has a good heart. And so it is even in the gospel said, the Lord looked at him and loved him. He's a good man. So he challenged him. If you really want life that truly reflects God's ways and God's, God's providence and God's majesty in your life, then sell all that you have. Give to the poor and come back to me. With this, the man went away sad. He has many possessions. He has many attachments. So the Lord made a comment, a statement, that will not only challenge the rich young man, but also all his listeners. It is very hard for a rich man to enter into life. Easier for a camel to pass through the eye of the needle. And Saint Peter said, so what about us? We have left to follow you. You will be given hundredfold. You will be rewarded back to you hundredfold. I believe this is what the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time challenges us and reminds us. Two things. First, we have to be convinced of the power of God's words in our lives, the power of Christ's teachings in our lives, the power of good principles coming from our Christian teachings. Our history of the church has many people we call them saints. Their lives were transformed. Their lives were changed. How many in the stories of, of the church were in bad people becoming good people. Good people becoming best people that they could be. Rich people who truly live the word of God. They transform their lives and not only their lives, the people they touch, the people they shared their blessings with. There are many testimonies of people who truly put into practice God's words, God's teachings, that their lives were transformed, their lives were blessed. And that is why this Sunday, I believe this is one thing. We need to be reminded of the power of God's words, the transformative power of God's words. This can be many times challenging, but if we truly trust in the power of God's words, we will be blessed. The second thing is precisely this. During our time and context, 
It is very hard many times to be a Christian. Many times it says, be a Catholic is harder than being a Christian. But precisely is this, what is being underlined in our Catholic Christian teachings is precisely the truth. Jesus Christ is truth. His teachings many times are contrary to the values of our society, contrary to the principles of our lifestyles, worldly lifestyles. And it is the Catholic Christian teachings that many times are challenging because they do not bend or blend to the worldly teachings or to the changes of time, the changes of people's attitudes and people's values. We need to be reminded that as the first reading says, the person has realized that when he lived by God's teachings, by God's prudence, by God's wisdom, prosperity, blessings, graces accompanied his life. Also in the gospel, a forewarn. If we seek our own life, we will lose it. But if we seek the kind of life Jesus wants us to live, we will find a richer life. We will find an enriched life. Let us take to heart the word of God we are given this Sunday. Like the examples of the lives of the saints, the lives of those who are transformed by the word of God, transformed by the faith in Jesus Christ. Let us believe in the power of God's words and the benefits of living and putting into practice his teachings. Let us never succumb to the mentalities that we have in our time, but rather take the word of God and let it be our empowerment to live a life that truly matters to God. Because when, when we take God that he matters to us, then we will matter also to him and he will bless our lives hundredfold. Let us be blessed this Sunday, knowing that you and I, in the Christian faith, we will follow Jesus, we will live by his teachings, we will take godly principles, and our lives not only will be godly, but will be graciously blessed.